Uh, so, uh, wind turbine design students, uh, this is a summary of the generator design in your, uh, in, in your, your, your class. So with me here I have Tron and uh, he'll show you the very basics of uh, the, the generator design part. First, uh, Tron has told me the correct term for the generator you are uh, designing and building is a permanent magnet synchronous generator. Uh, and this generator consists of a rotor and a stator. Uh, and the rotor has, been, has already been built. Uh, and I think Tron has uh, an example. So there are two rotors pre-built. So I think uh, Tron has one of them there. Is that correct, Tron? That's correct. I can show you the four pole synchronous machine permanent magnet rotor right I you see now and uh, this rotor it has four poles and a north pole following a south pole following a north pole and south pole. four poles all together and uh, this rotor is going to be or has to be combined with a four pole stator right and and the stator uh -huh. is the, this, this, the, 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 the task for the students is to design and build the stator since the rotor has already been built. That's correct. And the students can, as you said, Paul, choose between a four pole permanent magnet rotor and a, a two pole permanent magnet rotor. I can just demonstrate that we have a four, we have a pole here, I have a magnet with a North Pole and a South Pole, and now I'm demonstrating that uh, we have a South Pole which um, attracts the North Pole of the magnet. Okay, let's leave it like that. And uh, the stator is shown here. This is a four pole stator with a certain number of uh, turns on the coils, four pole, uh, four, four coils which um, corresponds to four poles on the rotor. And, when, and the, uh, when, when, when the generator is to be tested in the, um, in the lab or in the wind tunnel, uh, you would put the stator around the rotor. Yeah, so this arrangement where the rotor has a cradle, as you see here, and the cradle can be opened, can be divided in two parts, and then the stator will fit into that cradle, and of course it will be put outside the, the rotor, or the rotor will be put inside the stator, and then we have a complete professional synchronous machine, permanent magnet uh, machine, when the whole assembly is fit together and we, we uh, secure the stator by means of this upper part of the cradle and then put the screws back on and the machine is ready to run and the machine since this is a generator we need a turbine the turbine for test is connected here the turbine in the test setup is an electric machine an electric machine which is um, possible to speed control. Right, and, and, if, and in the wind tunnel, uh, when, we have made, when the students have made their, their, their wind turbine rotor, which is also called rotor, then, the, then that rotor would be put on, at the, on the other side, mounted on the other right. side. On this free shaft here. Right. Uh, okay, I think this, is, this was a very high level, uh, uh, quick and dirty introduction. Uh, to your design task for when it comes to the generator. So thanks for watching.